And when these same young people, all they can care about is how many likes on their stupid joke did they get? How many LOLs did they receive? When they keep taking eight different selfie angles and then fixing the color correction and learning the photo, you know, changing all of that and then posting it, just felt like taking a selfie out of the blue. Uh, <laughs> When you're so lost inside of yourself, when this device is, is basically your soul, when that's what's happened to you, then you're a lost cause. The enemy of Islam doesn't have to come and destroy you, he already did. He already, you're already done. You've already been cooked, you know? You guys, you have to transcend image. You have to get beyond, you know, social pressure. You have to get beyond what people think of you on campus if you're wearing a hijab. Instead of you feeling sorry that you're wearing hijab and they look down on you, you should feel sorry for them that Allah did not crown their heads with guidance. That's what you should be thinking. You young men over here, you know, Instead of worrying about, man, these guys get to eat what they want, do what they want, drink what they want, you should feel sorry for them that Allah dignified you as a human being and kept you away from living an animal existence, pretending to be human. They were sleeping, you, they were, you would think they're awake, but they're asleep. We, we paint an extreme picture that the Qur'an itself doesn't paint. And our youth suffer from this sometimes. They feel like turn, becoming serious about Islam must mean you can't have a life anymore. You can't have friends anymore. You can't have a personality anymore. You have to drop all of those things. Please. It's such a beautiful religion. It brings color to your life. It, adds, it gives you reason for joy. It's not a reason to be depressed. Especially among young people. You know? At the, of the four ayat I told you that summarized the whole story, the first of them was they went into the cave. The second of them was they went put to sleep. The third of them was they woke up. And the last of them was that he's telling the story for a purpose. And by saying that, نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ نَبَأَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ We're narrating the story onto you for actual purpose. By saying that, Allah is teaching you and me that there is such a thing as learning the story and not understanding its purpose. There is such a thing as learning Islam and forgetting the purpose of Islam. There is such a thing as gaining a lot of knowledge without purpose. There is such a thing. And we have to be careful about learning with what? With purpose. We cannot lose sight of purpose. Everything we do must have purpose. This is one of the most powerful lessons taught in, the, in this surah. 